First Lieutenant Christopher Buckingham says it's all about obstacles and challenges. Setting up the challenges is cool, but I, I really would rather be jumping. The drop into Australian ground space is a key element in the Land Force portion of Exercise Talisman Sabre 13, a biannual combined training exercise. Five C-17s carrying some 400 airborne soldiers traveled nonstop from the Alaska-based 501st Parachute Infantry Regiment. One by one, they jumped into the northeastern reaches of Australia. The airdrop is just one element in the exercise. We've got U.S. Marines assaulting a beachhead. U.S. and Australian naval forces are patrolling the waters. The air forces from both nations are providing logistical support. In all, exercise elements are taking place in a portion of Australia that is comparable to the east coast of the United States. But the real good impact is a military capability impact. It's improving the interoperability between the Australian and the United States Defence Forces. Right, hey, Sponsored by U.S. Pacific Command and executed by U.S. 7th Fleet, the three-week event brings together almost 30,000 service members. Their common focus, responding to crisis in Southeast Asia. It's the most prevalent area in the world for natural disasters and there are issues that we're dealing with uh, every day in, in that realm. So being prepared and responsive to uh, natural disasters, of course, is, uh, is something that we need to be very focused on. The scenarios are complex, designed to test capabilities of forces on land and sea. Gil McCabe, Australia.